Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you all my recipe for a fried alligator. So if you guys would like to see how this is made, stay tuned, it's very easy. So guys, here we have the alligator meat and the alligator meat is already cleaned and washed. Washed it with some lime, you can use flour if you like. So to this, we're going to go in with some Cajun seasoning and I like using the Slap Your Mama brand. It's a very salty Cajun seasoning so you just want to add a little bit. We wouldn't add any salt to this because this would be our salt element. So just about a quarter because this is just one pound of meat. So to that, we're going to go in with a little bit of Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning. Just a little dusting because you don't want this to become over powerful with salt. Next, we're going to add in some Trini flavors. So I'm going to go in with some lime pepper sauce and this is my homemade lime pepper sauce. It's going to cut any gaminess that the meat would have. And we're going to go in with some green seasoning. We must have our green seasoning when we make anything fried. And I'm going to go in with some paprika. Now, yes, the Cajun seasoning would have some paprika, but I want some additional paprika in there. So, play around with your flavors. And we're going to mix this. We want to allow this to marinate for about half an hour minimum. So once mixed in properly, you'll set it aside and allow it to marinate. In the meantime, you can place your oil to heat up. So guys, I want to talk to you about what I'm using to dredge the alligator meat in. Now this is the Slap Your Mama Cajun Fish Fry. Now if you can't find this, I'm going to tell you all how you can make your own. But this was available on Amazon or if you're living in Louisiana, of course you can find it readily available there. So if you don't have this, what you're going to be using is some flour, just some plain all-purpose flour. And to that flour, you can season it with your different Slap Your Mama. So this is a spicy, if you want it very spicy, you can use this one and season the flour. I also have the white pepper brand. And then I have the same one that I used to season the alligator itself, which is just the basic Slap Your Mama that is not that spicy. Now if you can't find any of these, you can probably look for a Creole or any other type of Cajun seasoning that you can find and you would use this to season your flour. I would do about a half a cup of flour to one teaspoon of this. If you want it more spicy, well you add more. Just remember all of these seasonings contain salt and you wouldn't want to put too much. So I'm going to empty out some of my Cajun fresh fish fry into a dredging bowl and we'll move along with the recipe. So I'm just going to empty some of this mixture and I'm emptying this mixture and I can see that there is cornmeal in here. So what I would suggest you do is add a little bit of cornmeal together with your flour and maybe a pinch of turmeric to get this nice color that this fish fry has. Now I'm going to be taking my alligator meat and this is going to be a dry fry it's not going to contain any um wet dip so we're going straight from the alligator into that dry mix and we're just going to dredge both sides really well you can do a couple pieces at a time and just set it aside so in that way when you go into the oil the pieces go into the oil at the same time and I'm going to place the pieces. You want to just make sure and shake off the excess coating and place it into your hot oil. You want your oil to be at about 300 or 325 degrees. This is not going to take very long to cook, about two or three minutes because the pieces are very small. So for the thinner pieces, they would 
fry pretty quickly so as this piece is finished I'm going to take it out of the oil drain it on my paper towel and allow the rest of the pieces to fry and if you have a cast iron pot like I'm using that would be really good for this recipe because it maintains that heat So guys, here you have it, my recipe for fried alligator or Cajun fried alligator. You guys are going to think this one is unconventional, but here in Florida, this is something that they eat a lot of. Even down in Louisiana, you'll find this a lot in the southern states. So if you guys can find alligator meat where you live, definitely give it a try. And I got this one at Bob Rott's which is in Davie, Florida, just off of the Turnpike when you come off on Griffin Road and you're heading west. So what I want to do is break in to one so you guys can see how the meat is on the inside. It's nice and tender. It's like, if I had to describe it, I would say it's like a chicken nugget. That's how it is. It smells amazing. Let me give it a taste. Mmm, it tastes like, I would say, like a mix between a chicken and a fish. Um, it's not very chewy, it's nice and soft and delicate and very tasty. Mm -hmm. I never thought I would actually be eating alligator one day, but it's quite good. And I can't wait for you all to try this recipe. So if you guys enjoyed today's recipe, please remember to leave me your comments down below. If you enjoy what you see on the channel and you're new to the channel, I hope you remember to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!